me and I thought I would do another my first time. Um, this is gonna be a crock pot my first time. I found this recipe on another blogger site just like most recipes I've been finding. The internet is amazing for crock pot recipes. I will post that person's recipe and links to her blog in my blog post for today which will be underneath this video if you want the recipe on how to do this. This should actually not take long to show you guys and now that I have the new iPhone the video is so much better that it's like I can record really easily and then I have iMovie now on my iPhone as well so I can edit and upload really quickly to YouTube. So hopefully if you guys don't mind this kind of like not all together not great lighting you know poor quality type of video and me looking like a mess every single time I am really excited to just keep showing you guys the crock pot recipes that I'm making for the family, you know, throughout the week. So it is 12.50 right now. I'm a little behind schedule. Kaya technically should be down for her nap. We just finished up lunch. We're an hour behind because we went grocery shopping this morning. John is not, been, hasn't been called out for work because it's a government holiday right now. Um, so he's FaceTiming with his mom. So if you hear him talking in the background, that's why. I'm gonna show you real quick. This is called a cream cheese chicken chili. I'm pretty excited about it because it's kind of gross outside. It's fall and I was looking for a cheap soup to make. The uh, description for the soup was super cheap, super easy, and super good. And those are the three things that I love hearing. I'm using my smaller crock pot this time because I don't wanna use up I don't want to use the big one. And I'm also using these slow cooker liners as I mentioned in my last video. They work really well. I didn't have any issues after I roasted my chicken pulling it out. I also used it when I made a chicken and dumpling crock pot recipe and it same thing pulled right out and was really great. So right now I have four chicken breasts in the pot already and what you're going to add is two packages of ranch dressing seasoning uh, a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, and a teaspoon of onion powder. Though I hear that you can substitute for garlic powder or garlic salt, but I have onion powder, so I'm going to use the onion powder. Next, you're going to use two cans of black beans. I did season just because I love anything with extra seasoning. Um, these you're going to want to drain and rinse, and then you're going to have two cans of sweet corn undrained, so keep the liquid in there, and then two cans of the original ro to Rotel, um, the tomatoes, which I've never cooked with these, so I'm excited to do that. So we're gonna put all of that in the crock pot right now. So we're gonna pour all of this stuff in. I'm really excited. This recipe just, I'm excited. I love anything with corn, like especially spicy things with corn. So I'm really excited about this. And I guess you can use frozen chicken too, but I just prefer fresh chicken. I don't know why. Um, there's, yeah, I just prefer it. So I'm gonna put you guys down for a second while I add all the spices. Alrighty, so I have added in all of my seasoning and now I'm going to take uh, just, I don't know, this is just a Pampered Chef flat wooden something or other. I don't know, it's not a spoon, it's not a ladle. I don't know what it is. I'm going to mix up everything. All right, we're gonna leave that. Now we are gonna put the lid on, if I can find my lid. Where did I put it? Lid, where did you go? There it is. All right, so I'm gonna pop the lid on, like so. And it says that you can cook it either four to six hours, or no, six to seven hours on low, or four hours on high. Um, since my chicken is already thawed, I'm gonna assume that four hours on, I'm gonna do the second high. I have two different levels of high. I'm gonna do four hours on that since it is almost one o'clock. We usually eat around five or 5.30 so that we can be done by six and then get kids ready for bed at seven. So I'm gonna do this one and hope that it gets done in about four and a half hours. And then after you add the cream cheese, apparently you're supposed to let it sit for another 30. So that'll be perfect in regards to our time. Along with the soup, I am also serving it with avocado, fresh sliced avocado, cilantro, and sour cream. So I will check back in with you guys and show you that. I'm also going to make scotcheroos right now because I've been addicted to scotcheroos. If you watched my fall favorites video, I love scotcheroos and they're so unhealthy. But since we're fiscal fasting right now, I need some like sweets in my life. So I'm going to make those and actually maybe i'll film making those as well if you don't mind so this is what you're going to need for the scotch roos if you're not familiar with the scotch roos what they are is basically a type of rice crispy treat except for you don't use marshmallows you add peanut butter and it has like a chocolate butterscotch like top to it they're amazing they're absolutely amazing they're super addictive they're just 
So that is what I'm going to be making. So what you're going to need is Rice Krispies, which I already had one open because I made Rice Krispie treats for Kaya or for Ava's teachers the other week. Chocolate chips. You're going to need at least one cup. I use a cup and a half and a cup and a half of butterscotch chips. It calls for a cup of each for the topping, but I kind of like a little bit like thicker of a chocolate top. You're going to need a cup of sugar, a cup of light corn syrup, a cup of creamy butter, and then a 9x13 pan and um, some type of... Awesome. And some type of pan, preferably not one that just dropped in the sink. Or not some type of pan, but some type of non-stick cooking spray. I like to use the Pam Original. You'll know why you need that after you try to cut and remove your treats because if you don't use that, it's a pain in the butt. So what I've done is I have added the cup of sugar and the cup of corn, light corn syrup to a large pot and I am going to melt this all down and I'm going to cook it until it is boiling a little bit underneath. I have it on medium heat because I don't want to like burn it and the hotter you get this, the harder it's going to turn when you add it to like when it solidifies again it'll turn like really hard if you get it too hot so right when it starts boiling is where you want it and then you'll mix in your cup of peanut butter lighting so bad i don't know if you can see this but see how it's bubbling a little bit this is where you want the consistency um or the, how hot you want it and then you want to add your one cup of peanut butter and mix that in so that's what i'm going to do real quick stirred the rice crispy treats into the peanut butter corn syrup and sugar mixture and then i placed it in my 9 by 13 pan that i of course pre-sprayed with the pam non-stick oil which again you will know or understand why you need that and why it's very important after you try to cut these and pull them out when they're dry um corn syrup if you're not familiar with it it dries and hardens super quick so these are going to get quite solid just press them down as much as you can obviously not with your hand i don't know why i'm doing this right now it just kind of feels cool <laughs> i'm a texture person my hands are clean i promise but you're going to spread it out as evenly as you can along the pan and then you're going to start doing your topping so i'm going to put a cup of each in this and then microwave it for a few seconds at a time and stir it make sure to get it all melted and then i will spread it over the entire top of this and then let it cool they take about maybe 45 minutes to cool completely to the point where you can cut them and eat them you put them under a fan they'll probably cool faster but these are a great dessert for or snack or whatever treat for classrooms for church potlucks um, i'm mennonite we mennonites love scotcheroos they're always at all of our potlucks and bake sales and they're just great for whatever our kids love them the important thing is though if you are going to be taking this to a classroom remember to warn people that there is peanut butter in it I tend to forget that there's peanut butter in it because they don't taste very peanut buttery, but they do have peanut butter. So for those children that have allergies, remember there is peanut butter in this treat. So I finished the chocolate chip and butterscotch icing. It didn't take that long. I just put it in the microwave on high for 30 seconds at a time and then would stir it in between. You don't want to heat it too like long at first because you don't want to burn the chocolate chips or the butterscotch so this is what it looks like i spread it evenly across everything and it should harden up in the next 45 minutes and then i can have one yummy yummy so i'm going to set that aside i have in between cooking and baking i've cleaned up the countertops i know it probably doesn't look like it to some of you but we have a very cluttered kitchen we have a small kitchen so that's the nice thing about you know easy desserts and easy crock pot meals is you can clean up the kitchen really nicely and quickly and you're good to go and like i said we have such a tiny kitchen that if our kitchen isn't cleaned or i have a big baking or cooking project it just is so frustrating to be in so i kind of just you know got rinsed out cans got rid of stuff put stuff in the sink as i went along so that was really nice um let's check on the chicken chili it looks pretty good it smells really good um, the recipe said to stir it every once in a while, but if not, it's okay. But I'm home, so I'm going to stir it every once in a while when I think about it, just to check on it and make sure the chicken's not getting overcooked. We're going to let that cook again for another two and a half, three hours. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the chicken, and instead of tearing it apart with a fork, I'm just going to throw it in my food processor because it seems to do a really good job at just really quickly shredding it if I put you the like pulse it for a few times and then pull it out before it gets too mushed up. Um, it's I like my chicken f not chunky in soups. I like it more shredded, so that's perfect. And that way it'll be easier for Kaya to eat as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for that to finish cooking. We'll pull out the chicken, shred it, put it back in, and then also add the two things of cream cheese, and then I'll cut up some cilantro, the avocados, and all that, and then I will show you what the finished product is. Okay, guys, so it is 4.30. And about an hour and a half ago, I turned the crock pot down to low, only because... Um, 
after I checked on it, I didn't use frozen chicken like the recipe called for. So I knew that it would cook faster and I didn't want it to dry out. So I turned it down to low. Um, it's 4.30 right now, like I said. So I'm going to pull the chicken out. I'm going to put it in my food processor. I'm going to shred it a little bit, put it back into the crock pot, and then um, put the two packs of cream cheese in, stir it in, let it melt for 30 minutes, and then we will put together our soup bowl. So the house smells really good. Like, I just, that's one of the things I love about the crock pot is that it makes my house smell amazing. And also, when John gets home, it's like the first thing that hits his face. He's like, ooh, what's for dinner? Something's cooking that smells good. So... I like that. So I'm going to pull all of these chicken breasts out and I'm going to put them in the fruit processor and then I'm going to shred them. I love my food processor guys. If you don't have a food processor, I don't think that they're needed, but it has definitely saved me so much time and energy. I love that it just sits on the counter. I don't care if it clutters up my counter. I'm willing to be cluttered because of everything that I can do with it. I made all of Kaya's baby food. If you read my blog posts, like all of her baby food was made with this food processor and I love it. So here's what our chicken looks like. It's nicely shredded. If, some people might think that this is too fine, but again, I don't like big chunks of meat in my soups. Like, I don't, I like, okay, if I'm gonna eat like a big chunk of meat, it better be a big old pork chop or it better be a big steak or a big hamburger. If it's gonna be like little like chunks of stuff, I'm not, mm -mm, not so much a fan. Like I want either a big substantial slab of something or nicely shredded, you know, that if especially if it's in my soup so i'm going to pour this into the crock pot and then restart it sorry i keep getting kind of in the light of the video i'm gonna stir it in and oh my gosh i accidentally tasted it already and it tastes really good and i haven't even put the cream cheese in so that's what that looks like and now i'm going to put the cream cheese in and then we'll let that sit for a half an hour stir it up and then we'll serve it with avocado sour cream and um, cilantro. So there is the cream cheese. I'm gonna try to push it down so it kind of gets in the hot center. I think I may kick the heat back up to high for the cream cheese since technically in the recipe it says to have it cooking for 30 minutes on high. So I'm gonna do that just so the cream cheese melts and separates and everything in the 30 minutes that I need it to. And then I just wanted to show you guys, I made, <laughs> this is what the scatteroos look like. The chocolate's hard and I already cut them. John and I each already ate one. And then I also made a pan of Rice Krispie Treats because I'm going to cut off a few pieces of each and put them on a plate and give them to our cross the street neighbor because yesterday they helped John or he helped John break our front yard because it was getting really dark and he came out and helped him. So we thought that was really nice. So I'm gonna send them over some treats, but uh, we will see you in 30 minutes. We have our soup is done. It is 5.05. .05. We eat early in this house. Get away. We eat early in this house because we go to bed early in this house. As you guys know, if you read my blog post yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. It depends when I upload this video. The kids go to bed at eight o'clock during the school night. Well, that. Yeah, we actually start at 7 right after dinner. We eat and it takes like an hour for all the kids to finally get their food in their bellies. But after fighting them, when I say them, I mean Wyatt. So 6 o'clock rolls around and they're basically done. Then they play for a little bit or Kai Ava does her piano and Wyatt kind of chills out. And then 7 o'clock rolls around and we start the bedtime routine because it takes forever. And then 8 o'clock they're in bed. So... Anyways, it's 5 o'clock. That was not necessary. I don't know why I told you all that, but it's 5 o'clock. The food is ready. The kids' food is on the table already. Kaya and Ava are sitting over there eating. Wyatt is finishing up his time out in his bedroom. You heard screaming. That's what that was. Um, I did not put avocado and cilantro in the younger kids' soups because I don't think they would appreciate it. Uh, but I cut up some avocado that I'm going to leave with the pit still in so it doesn't brown until I need it. And then I have some fresh cilantro drying right here that I'll tear up to put on top of John and I's soup, along with some sour cream, which I did put the sour cream in the little one's food because it is a little bit spicy. And then we have carrots and grapes if the kids are interested. And then we also have a bag of tortilla chips on the table. So I will show you what it looks like if John gets out of my way. So after the cream cheese is added, I don't know if you can see that, it gets this nice like pinky white coloring to it. So I am going to dish it up and show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I have some torn up cilantro, or fresh cilantro, some sour cream, and some, two avocados in each one. John is for some reason dipping into his already. Um, that's what it looks like. I'm going to see if I can get a better lighting. Is it good? It tastes like cream cheese. It tastes like cream cheese, John says. It tastes like macaroni and cheese. It tastes like macaroni and Avocado's got a little bit of bruise in it, but life's not perfect. 
Okay, so let's get the kids' opinions. Wyatt, do you like it? Ava, do you like it? And Kaya is eating with her it's utensils like a big girl. Chili. I don't know where this came from, but she started she started eating with her own spoon. It's the craziest thing. So there you have it. There's our meal. Um, there is a lot left over. I bet this would feed probably like four adults. Um, yeah, if it, John says, if anybody wants some, come on over. Uh, but yeah, so we are going to sit down and eat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the recipe for the scotch roux and for this um, Just soup don't come over. will be on my blog post, which I will link underneath this video. And I will also link to the woman, you know, it has to be my finger, um, to the woman who I got the recipe from. So I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. What do you think? It's okay. What? Well, stop it. He said it was bad ASS. In front of the children, nonetheless. I said excuse my language. Yeah, but he really, really likes it. I haven't tasted it yet, but I, I well, I kind of did, but I guess I'll taste it now. It tastes like, um, like, uh, like chili, but with like a mild, like cheese. So it's like chili, Flavor. but you don't have to add the shredded cheese because it's already in there and the cream cheese. There's a lot of cheese in it, it tastes like. Yeah, the cream cheese. It has a nice I guess I forgot to say what I thought of it. I just tasted it with a little bit of sal the cilantro and the avocado. And I will say that the cilantro, I think, makes the soup. It's very, very good. It's, it's just really, really good. Um, the soup itself is really rich. It's really creamy. There is two eight-ounce packages of cream cheese in here. Um, I think that next time I make it, I might only put, like, a pack and a half of it in the soup because it's a little bit too creamy cheesy for me the kids like it though and what John really likes it so maybe they won't mess with it I do like it it's really good it's just rich like I don't think I'll have more than this bowl but it's really really good like the taste is really really good so alrighty um this is apparently my family at dinner time so we're gonna go we'll see y'all later oh wait Kai has joined the party too. <laughs>